Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of arc. A for arc, B for basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to be discussing one of the... Matter of fact, we're going to be discussing an updated one that we've already covered before, but the old one was with the old version. The new one, this one now, is with the new version. A lot's changed since then. They've done a lot to it. So yeah, today we're discussing the Mammoth, which just recently underwent a TLC. So a bunch of the Mammoth has changed. Matter of fact, they don't even look like Mammoths. Well, actually they do look like them. That's not true. All right, they're totally mammoths. A mammoth is a mammoth is a mammoth. All right, so let's go take a look at the mammoth that we've got over here. Now, we've got one over here inside. Duty Bob McFace, you okay? All right, all right. Now, we've got one over here just right sitting back. Now, these guys right here, they're wicked, wicked tanky. Now, you'll notice that their saddle actually looks like it's got a bunch of different stuff on it, and that's kind of... That's kind of expected. All right, but um, these guys, they are super utilitarian, um, along with big and tanky. And also, also, yeah, I mean, look at that face. Come on, don't you just want to pinch his cheeks, right? I mean, everybody needs to have a mammoth in their base. So, hey, that's why you come to basics, to figure out why you need this in your base. Because they're cute, and you want them. End of story. Go get a mammoth. All right, now we're going to discuss how to get a mammoth and what a mammoth does. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, mammoths, uh, these guys, they um, they actually have the ability to pick up a whole bunch of stuff. Plus, also, they are the best um, wood gatherer in the game. They are. Stop arguing with me. They're the best wood gatherer in the game. Deal with it. All right, yeah, you can do mammoth, you can do casteroid, and, but uh, yeah, casteroids, they lack the weight. Right, um, they uh, can gather a whole ton of wood, but also they um, don't have nearly as much uh, weight reduction on wood as a mammoth does. A mammoth has 75%, which is huge. All right, here, take a look at this. All right, come up like this. All right, now if you smack a tree with the left click, you get a little bit of wood, mostly thatch. All right, so that's good. All right, now if you grab it with the right click, you can't even do it. Now the key to getting um, the most amount of wood That's a theory over there. We might just have to show just how uh, wicked awesome a mammoth is. All right. The key to getting a lot of wood with a mammoth is you, is you use, not that attack, use the jump attack. And see that? 600 wood. Yeah, in your face, wood. All right. And also, you can see these guys pack a wallop. And also, they have this knockback when they attack. See, the Sterazina has yet to hit me. It is wicked cool. Uh, the, oh, he hit me once, twice. All right, but yeah, the knockback on these guys, it's very similar to a trike, which means that if you can get things just being knocked back constantly, you take so little damage, it is absolutely negligible. All right, but here, uh, let's throw out all the berries. I've got tons of berries on this guy. All right, because they're taking up weight. They don't have weight reduction on berries. That's unfortunate. So we'll get things that aren't berries. But see, look at this. One stack of, uh, wood. 12.5 weight. They can carry so much wood. All right, and all you do, I keep wanting to click that button. All you do is you just use the um, jump attack. For most people, it's space bar. For me, it's a different button, but it works. All right, another thing these guys do is uh, see if you use the crouch attack, which is C normally. If you're not in water and you use that, it'll actually just do that kind of roar. But if you go into water, It'll do this, which looks pretty cool. Now, what that thing, now what that roar does is, uh, here, let me show you. It adds that little debuff to everything around you. See that little uh, um, stars over its head? That is a damage debuff that it puts on everything around it. It is wicked, wicked cool. And uh, yeah, it seems to be a pretty big debuff. All right, one last thing we're going to discuss about these guys' saddle. You notice there is a big piece of poop on the floor. Thanks. Thanks. All right, I'm talking about you. You shouldn't be pooping. All right. Um there is a big drum on this guy's back. All right. Now, um how you do how you access that is you go to passenger seats and you board the drum. 
Right now, the, with the drum, you can't steer the dyno, which is unfortunate. And I, I, you can whistle them so where they'll move by using the whistle commands. I don't want to use it because I'm too close to my base, which will get the entire base to move right there. But um, you have this little ring of effect around you. Now, that ring right there, that is the radius of the anti-fear um, and uh, I believe it's stamina regen uh, oh, uh, radius that they have. So now, if you click the button, you'll get that and then you'll start getting this buff. Now, everything around you, now that it's turned green, everything around you will start having that buff. Now, what that is, it's, uh, yeah, recover stamina and immu immune to fear. Now, the person that's in the back, they have to keep playing it or else that buff fades like that. So they have... Bam. So you have to get three in a row, and then you have 10 seconds worth of buff. Now, it, it, it uh, sends one every second of delay. So where you can keep the buff constantly stacked. And after each three times that you hit it, it refreshes your buff. It's wicked cool. So having um, a pair of riders, or you have one rider and one drum player on these guys, and then you, uh, this is kind of a boss army, or one of the best things that you could probably take out to go, uh, um, oh, tame Therizinos with. I mean, I'm just saying. All right, so, all right, now you might be asking yourself, hey, Flinger, where do we find a mammoth? One of these golden uh, best wood harvesters that there possibly can be. Well, the answer to that is snow. If there's snow there, it, there's mammoths. That's so, that's where we're going, which means that we have a shopping list today for what you have to do in order to go out and get one of these mammoths. So what you need to have is you need to have some form of warm weather gear. Now, if you have just regular hide, pair it with an otter because it gets cold up there. All right, if you have uh, fur armor, wear that. All right, I'm going to use this um, hide armor right here, which is definitely going to be overheating me right next to my base. Everything always does. All right. And then I'm going to just go get an otter, put him on my shoulder, and I'm going to call that good. All right, but also, um, if you do, if you only at the stage, because these guys right here, their uh, saddle is kind of low level. It's only level 31 to learn this saddle. It's wicked easy. It takes 140 fiber, 260 hide, and 10 metal ingots. If you don't have that at um, level t um, 31, go get it, because it's, it's super easy. All right, so um, what you need... You can knock these guys out with crossbows. You can knock these guys out with bows. I recommend uh, opening up the uh, loot drops that come down using the crossbows and the bows from that. You can use regular primitive stuff, uh, but when it comes to knocking things out, you just want it out as quick as possible. And it, it applies to the multiplier. So for when uh, you knock these dudes out. So I'm going to be using uh, this crossbow. I'm going to show you one with a crossbow and one with a regular long neck. Long neck I'm not going to lean too much on because I don't expect too many people to have long necks at this particular juncture because it's only a level 31 saddle. But uh, if you're going to head up there, make yourself some either hide armor, get a, um, a, a torch you'll pair with the hide armor as well. And my T-Rex just pooped. It's a ghastly poop. And uh, um, Or you can make fur armor. You can go up there. Uh, whatever you do, make sure you're, uh, um, you bring plenty of food. That way there uh, you can heal yourself up. Because it gets cold up there, and it gets chilly, and you don't want to, you know, get the sniffles, right? That's a thing. All right, now, when coming up into the snow biome, in order to find yourself a mammoth, I recommend uh, either... I mean, I'm taking a Thyla. A Thyla is at, obviously a little bit higher level than the mammoth, but uh, you can bring Sabertooth. Uh, you can be on the back of a raptor. I would recommend that you bring the uh, just a dino that you can shoot off the back of them. Or, um, if you want, you can bring a Pteranodon. Just make sure that you have a... Make sure that you have a Taming Pen with you. Uh, or just a small one that you can set up. Now, I will show you kind of a, um, a sort of Taming Pen. We're, I'm going over there now where I've already got one set up. Um, but if you're coming up, you can go up either the... Do uh, I have aggro? Yeah, I do. All right, now you can go up either the left side over here where I'm at... Or in between, hello. Or in between the um, uh, the two, uh, the volcano, and then the metal mountain that's right over to the uh, east side of it. You can come up either way. I'm actually going a little bit more difficult way 
but that's just because it was closer to my base, and I'm actually riding a Thyla going up there. Um, if you're coming up this way, I would recommend that if you're on a dino, make sure that the dino's on neutral, because Perlovia suck. Saying, I mean, yeah, if you get smacked by a Perlovia, and your dino's not on neutral, you're probably gonna be dead. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't happen, most times it does. Alright, so, uh, we're already getting in the territory of mammoths. I'm gonna be heading over towards the taming pen area, and I will bring you guys back. Hey, wolves! And you can tell from the different colors I'm recording this during the Halloween event. Alright, let's get our butt over there. And there we go, our first mammoth sighting! Look at how majestic they look! Especially out on top of their little... I would say an iceberg, but it's not an iceberg. It's just a... Thing. Right. Yeah. Can you go stand on an iceberg so we can say you're majestic on an iceberg? No? Fine. Alright. And then over there, across the way, you can see that uh, um, there is a mammoth fighting Uteranus. There's a mammoth that's get being eaten by Uteranus and his little buddies. Uh, they do... Um, suffer from the fear effects of a Uteranus, but it takes a couple uh, of the Uteranus bellows before they will um, fully take off. Hello, Mr. Uteranus. We were just talking about you. Suck it, dude. Later, man. All right, let's get over here to the uh, um, pen that I have set up. All right, one thing you need to be aware of if you're coming up here. Um, yeah, Uteranus suck, and if they roar, you're going to be running for a little bit. So be prepared for that. And what I mean prepared for that is bring a second pair of trousers. Yeah. All right, let's see. So what level is this one? Not like it matters. He's almost dead. Okay. I'm going to go see if I can find a decent leveled one. Well, actually, we're going to lock out one of these lower level ones uh, with uh, the bow just because it's easier that way. All right, come on, dude. All right, let's see. Right, let me aggro your buddy. All right. Now, I've got a taming pin over here. Come here, dude. Come on. Oh, he's got a Carno on him? Dude, don't have Carnos on your butt. Oh, they have creams for that. All right, there you go. Uh, and you're almost dead, so you're only level 15. You'll get knocked out when I take you, so. All right. And of course, he's goring me. All right, so, let's try this guy. All right, let's just use the regular bow. Come here, dude. Yep, go ahead. Intimidate me. All right, now over here is the, um, tra the trap. All you need is some uh, walls. I like to use window walls. Chris, where'd you go? I might have brought a little bit too big of firepower for these guys. Alright, but when it comes around to these guys, and you know, I'm gonna kill you because you're already beat up. Alright. Here, let's tame you. Come on. All you have to do is grab them and drag them over to the taming pen. And here, let me show you. Even though this guy's a little slow. They're a little bit slower in nature than they are. And you're tamed. Get over here. I said I want you. Get over here. Come on. Now the benefits of using a, a trap is they're defended. Because you have to uh, defend them while they're taming them. And these guys aren't the shortest tame. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, wow, that actually reduces my damage by quite a bit.
And, of course, he was getting out right as I knocked him out. Good job! All right, now, on these guys right here... Oh, he's only level 15. That's why he was so easy to knock out. Uh, these guys right here, they uh, they can take their tranks. They, they, they can hold their liquor. So, just so you know, they totally can. And I'm just going to give them a couple... Uh, couple uh, um, kibble. They use superior kibble. So, if you're going to come up here, make sure you've got plenty of that. Uh, everybody's curious. Of course, level 10. All right. I mean, it, it was a pretty orgy, so... I mean, I know if uh, I didn't show it on camera, people would be like, what level was that orgy? Oh my god, the thing's beautiful! And then, of course, I ate it, because it was only level 10. All right, so now, uh, now that we've got that one knocked out, let's go... Let's go use the Trank Dart method, which is much quicker. All right, but I'm going to find a nice high level one while the other one is taming up. All right, so we've got this guy. Now, come here, dude. All right, he's going to be getting unconscious or sleepy a little bit faster, but not as fast as I would like to. Uh, he is actually 135, I believe it was. What? Right? 135? Yeah, 135. All right, so this is a good one. All right, but of course, she's going to be losing aggro. All right, so I'm going to be dragging her over here, and I just want to knock her out close to the trap. That's good to know. See, this is the thing that uh, I didn't know before now, is that as soon as you get in range, they will roar. They, they won't roar if they're not in range. That's cool. Come on. Now, if you have a Tronodon, you can just go smack it with a Tronodon and then push it into the trap, but you have to have a trap for a Tronodon if you're going to use a Tronodon to tame it. All right, come on. Yeah, go ahead. Smack me. It's fine. All right, she's running. Alright, so she's unconscious. Alright, now we're just gonna babysit them. And then, uh... Yeah, the whole... The da most dangerous part about taming up here in the snow is that there's so much dangerous wildlife around here. So you need to make sure that uh, you either put them in a trap or um, with this one right here, we can take and we can put... Oh, that one's up. Alright. No, 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 no. You stay right there. And go to passive because I don't want you to hit this one. Uh, you, uh, um, oh, uh, you can encase them in, here, let me show you, in the spike walls, hey, dude, all right, now, I have a spot over here where I have aimed up one with spike walls, somewhere, right over there, okay, Hi, Mr. Carno. Come on. I'm going to take you over to the spike walls. Come on, dude. All right, right here. You just take and you put spike walls around it. It's so where it's not going to uh, get hit by anything. If anything aggro's on it, it's going to aggro on the spike walls. Okay, that is just bad. And that'll give you some time. Well, that happened. All right, I'm going to wait till these guys are up. Seriously, dude. All right, this guy's up. Let's take a look at the difference between these two. Now, this one right here, this level 22 mammoth, this guy right here, he's already really... I mean, it, those are pretty good stats, especially for a level 22. He's already got uh, 1360 health. That's not bad. 495 stamina, not bad at all. All right, the weight, 520 weight. Level 22. This guy's amazing. All right, most casteroids, most beavers would be jealous of that. Most high-level casteroids would be jealous of that. Especially without having a single point pumped into it. The melee damage sucks, but other than that, that's, that guy's a winner. All right, so this guy right here. 
Okay, so apparently their uh, um their base weight is really high. This guy, he actually got really good rolls on everything other than weight, <laughs> which is, doesn't help me prove my point. But yeah, he act, this guy right here, if you were to take this one, you were to breed it, and then uh, um, on the uh, imprinted one, uh, start pumping up uh, uh, weight, you would have one that had just so much, and he would already have enough health, and he'd already have enough melee damage um, to uh, last him for a long career of gathering wood for you. Or you could just take this one out and gather wood. It, it, this one right here would work just perfectly. This is just a great wood-gathering dino. All right, so uh, these guys, um, and I was sitting here thinking a little bit whether um, while this one was taming up, is these guys, they're... Probably one of the better tanks that you could possibly get because not only can they reduce the amount of damage that other things are doing and it was by a lot it was it was at least by about I'd say 20 maybe 25 percent when I was shooting them so uh yeah that's a thing and then also uh they can uh, gather wood they have the anti firar from the drums and if you put a nice saddle on these guys, these guys can totally uh, go do some wicked cool stuff. Now, the old version, I took into a dragon fight. I would imagine the new version, it, it's even more possible to take them into a dragon fight. All right, I'm going to head back to base. I have one last thing to show you. I'm just showcasing just how cool these guys are. All right, now one last thing I want to show you with these guys is pretty much if it's smaller than, say, like this iguanodon here... You can take it and you can pick it up with the right click attack. See, you can just take it and you can drop it. Sorry, Iguanodon. I didn't mean to. It was the compies, I swear. All right, so let's grab uh, this Parasaur right here. All right, now all you do is just go grab it with the right click attack, and that doesn't aggro it. It does zero damage while it's doing that, which is wicked, wicked cool. And then you can take it and then hold the right click attack. And you can fling things. It is amazing. So not only can you move things and then gently place them inside of a taming pen or just move them around your base. Uh, use these guys to organize uh, your uh, wardrobe. Maybe your closet a little bit. You know, uh, sort your HDMI cables. These guys will also pick up a Fiomia and fling it. Uh, let's see. Beat, just like that. <laughs> it's wicked cool. All right, so hey, I hope this video helped you out. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everybody. And just remember, all right, pinch the cheeks. And these guys are amazing. Thanks. Maybe they don't like to have their cheeks pinched. But still, all right, they're, they're really, really good.